repeatedly hit. And so the U.S. now taking this decision to stop um, or suspend, anyway, the sale of precision-guided weapons. This doesn't mean that they will stop selling them to other members of the coalition as well, because this is a multinational um, coalition. You have the Emirates involved, the UAE um, as well. And it also doesn't mean that they're not going to stop selling them other equipment, such as attack helicopters um, and supporting them militarily, uh, as they've already said, for border control. But, uh, you know, there's no, th th there's no way that they can prevent those weapons that are still being sold for being used inside Yemen anyway. And as I say, other members of the coalition still using um, bombs that are being sold. And, of course, the British have, are not going to stop what they're doing, which has been similar to the U.S. And they've um, authorized the sale of over three billion pounds worth of, of weapons to Saudi Arabia over the course of the war as well. Um, and there is no indication that they're going to stop doing that. And what about the U.S. still uh, uh, providing refueling to coalition aircraft? How important is that? And do you see any sign that they might stop uh, providing refueling? No. I mean, even when they made this announcement uh, about suspending the precision-guided weapons, they said that then they're, they're not going to be suspending um, the refueling. And that really is crucial. If they stop the refueling, uh, that would stop the bombing campaign literally tomorrow, because logistically, the coalition would not be able to send their fighter jets in to carry out sorties without that help. And I think um, that's really the crucial part of it and why people are pushing for more, because if the U.S. government did want to stop the bombing campaign, they could do it straight away. Um, so this is a kind of half-hearted sort of effort, really, by saying we're going to stop the precision-guided weapons and, you know, back them away from, from being... Uh, complicit maybe in war crime so much, but they're still heavily involved in actually the whole campaign carrying on.